Our World Heritage Site is a landmark or area which is chosen by the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organisation as having cultural, historical, scientific or other form of significance and is legally protected by international treaties. To be selected, a site must be an already classified landmark, unique in some respect as a geographically and historically identifiable place having special cultural or physical significance. Sites can be classified as natural, cultural or both. Today we'll be looking at Ireland's UNESCO World Heritage Sites. There are three located on the island of Ireland, two in the Republic of Ireland and one in Northern Ireland. Both sites in the Republic of Ireland are cultural sites, Skellig Michael in County Kerry and Bruna Boina in County Meath. Skellig Michael is located 11.6 kilometres west of the Ivora Peninsula in County Kerry and is located on the Wild Atlantic Way touring route. Formed over 360 million years ago when Ireland was south of the Ecratia, it later broke away from the McGillicuddy Reeks and was surrounded by rising sea levels. Its highest point is 218 metres above sea level. The rock's wildlife composes of grey seals, rabbits, mice and a variety of protected birds including peregrine falcons, fulmires, gannets and the iconic Atlantic puffin. However, Skellig Michael is a cultural site, not a physical one, and this is because of the monastic settlement from the 6th to 8th centuries. Like other island monasteries, the site was favoured for its isolation and rock for construction. The exact date of its foundation is unknown. The monastery is located on a 185 metre high shelf above sea level and contains two oratories, a later medieval church, a cemetery, crosses, cross slabs and six Clohorn type domed beehive cells. It was made a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1996 at the 20th World Heritage Committee in Mexico. It receives 11,000 tourists a year, but the Office of Public Works limits it to 180 every day. Baruna Boina, or Bend in the Boyne, is one of the world's most important prehistoric landscapes from the Neolithic period, which includes the world-famous megalithic passage tomb of Newgrange, as well as Nowth, Douth, and over 90 other sites. It is located near the village of Tenora County Mead, or 8 km west of Drogheda, 40 km north of Dublin, 242 km northeast of Cork, 1,670 km north of Olivenza, Spain, or Portugal, and about 8,900 km northwest of Letelacane, Botswana. It has been a site of human settlement for over 6,000 years, with the major structures from 5,000 years ago from the Neolithic period, older than the pyramids of Egypt. The site also composes of Neolithic mounds, chamber tombs, standing stones, hedges and other prehistoric enclosures with many new monuments still being discovered. All but two of the prehistoric sites are located on the river peninsula between the Boyne and the tributary river Masha. The site shows the prehistoric Irish's knowledge of science and astronomy, with new range of doubt having winter solstice solar alignments, with now orientated to the spring and autumn equinoxes. The layout of the valley has also been studied for astronomical significance. It has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1993. Finally, in Northern Ireland, we have a natural heritage site, the Giants Causeway and Causeway Coast. Located in County Antrim, 4.8 kilometres northeast of the town of Bushmills, it is famous for its around 40,000 interlocking basalt columns, mostly hexagonal with the tallest being 12 metres tall. I love how you say that. Hexagonal. Hexagonal. <laughs> hexagonal. 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 It is free to enter and is one of the most popular tourist attractions in Northern Ireland, with over 1 million visitors in 2018. There are two stories of how it was created, the mythological one and the geological one. Legend states that the Giants Causeway are the remnants of a bridge to Scotland built by Irish giant Fionn McCool after being challenged to a fight by a Scottish rival. The Scottish giant fled home after being tricked, destroying the causeway behind him. Similar hexagonal columns are found at Fingal's Cave on Staffa, Scotland, so perhaps the tale is inspired by this. Geologists say that it formed about 60 million years ago, when molten rock rose through fissures in the Earth's crust, spreading out to form a lava plateau. The hexagonal shapes were formed by rapidly cooling lava contracting and the differences of the cooling rate, cracking like drying mud. As well as the columns, the site has other geological formations such as the chimney stacks, the giant's heart and giant's boot. It became a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1986. Though the giant's causeway is the most famous, similar sites can be found in Hungary, Portugal, Rwanda, Canada, Australia, Romania, Slovakia, Mongolia and even on Mars. The island tentative list comprises sites which may be nominated for inscription to the UNESCO World Heritage List in the future. These include the Berwyn, Calonmac Noise, the Cana Fields and the Royal Sites of Ireland that include the Rock of Cashel and Hill of Tara.